to the top of the world. Soichiro Honda, a man of great dreams. Victory in the Isle of Man Tourist Trophy Race was his first step towards the achievement of his dreams. In 1959, seven years after pledging his participation, a Honda machine made this first dream come true. And the dream expanded from two-wheel to four-wheel vehicles. In 1964, Honda challenged the world in Formula One racing. In 1984, Honda once again challenged Formula One. And finally, in 1986, Honda won the constructor's title over the other powerful international competitors. The dream which had long lived within Soichiro Honda had finally come true. え、世界の本田になったわけですからね。私は自動車を進歩させ In 1906, Soichiro Honda was born in Tenryu City, Shizuoka Prefecture, as the eldest son in his family. His father was a blacksmith. Here is a story which illustrates Soichiro's natural interest in mechanics, which began in his childhood days. When Soichiro was in grade school, an automobile came for the first time to his village. Young Soichiro was hypnotized by the sound of its engine and the smell of its exhaust. Soichiro scooped the oil-saturated dirt into his hands with the scent of an advancing era and soon dreamed his vision for the future. After graduating from secondary school, Soichiro decided to go to Tokyo alone. There he joined the art company, which was then one of the few auto repair shops in Japan. As he worked repairing cars, Soichiro began his task of building his own racing car, his childhood dream. 自分が作って自分で運転私はまあ若い時したんですからねそうしますとあっちに悪いこっちに悪いってそういろいろもうそうね一週間も寝ずに仕事をしてで雇う完成した自分の子供みたいなもんで走るんですからねなんと言っていい
Soichiro withdrew from the piston ring business and planned his next business. Shortly after, Soichiro came up with a revolutionary idea. He would build the small engines used by the Japanese Imperial Army for communication purposes onto bicycles. The result was an incredibly popular and successful product. In 1946, the Honda Technical Research Institute was established, marking a true beginning for his dream. The A-type engine was developed and its production was started. A bicycle with an A-type engine was introduced and became an overnight success. In September 1948, Honda Motor Company was established, the first step toward a global Honda. It was at this factory that the prototype of today's motorcycle was completed and named the Dream. で、それ心に置いといて、うちの若い人たちに、みんな話して名前はドリームズをつけるのどうだなって。うん、それはいいだろうと。夢あることはいいことだと。で、そんじゃ、それにしようと。で、ドリームズのつけて、まあ、来て
In 1983, the year of Honda's 35th anniversary, the second president, Mr. Kawashima, handed over his post to President Kume. This graceful exit also proved the fact that Hondaism was to be passed on. Soichiro Honda was loved and respected by every employee. He also associated with many dignitaries and celebrities throughout the world. Many people felt attracted by his frank, honest manner in speaking and his radiant smile. After retiring from a position with direct influence in the company, Soichiro Honda never stopped pursuing his goal as an engineer. He completely reconstructed an antique car from the British Royal Museum and raced it in the London to Brighton race. <laughs> Since his retirement, he occupied a good deal of his time painting in the traditional Japanese style. そういうことね、夢欲しいですね。え、夢はなくなったらね、おそらく生きる仕方ねだな。うん。私よりこそ夢がないと。夢になっちゃうんですね。だから私はあの死ぬまでまあどのくらいも正気でいるか知らんけど
<笑>いいですね立派な返事ですよ In 1967, the Honda Research and Development Company was visited by both the Showa Emperor and the Empress. In 1985, The Showa Emperor visited the Kumamoto manufacturing plant. Soichiro was a guide together with President Kume on both occasions. On this honorable occasion, he explained to the Emperor about such things as Formula One racing machines. To Soichiro Honda, it was a once in a lifetime experience. Live long and prosper. These words of encouragement from the Emperor may have touched the soul of Soichiro Honda, whose life was full of adventures. Soichiro Honda loves the young people of Honda who have helped his big dream come true. The same is true with Honda's overseas facilities worldwide. Mr. Honda, in 1989. Soichiro Honda was inducted into the American Automobile Hall of Fame, becoming the first Japanese ever to receive this esteemed privilege. It is my great honor to invite you to unveil your module. Forever dedicated in your honor. Thank you very much. A total of 88 individuals that greatly contributed to the American automobile industry have been honorably received into the American Automobile Hall of Fame, including such names as Henry Ford. Among these great people, the name of Soichiro Honda has been permanently enshrined in world history. I'm so happy you're here. Thank <laughs> you. Mr. Honda. On behalf of the Automotive Hall of Fame, it is my great honor to present to you this medallion and portrait which symbolize your great contribution to the history of the automotive industry. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. 
I am most I am I am most gratified to be inducted to the most prestigious automotive hall of fame. え、本当に夢のようでございます。まだここにおっても、えー、こうふわふわ体がして、まだあまだ本人に戻ってきておりません。This is seems to me like a, completely a dream, and even as, the, as I stand here, I feel as though I'm standing on the cloud. え、こうしても初めて痛いのでこれは本物だなと。Only when I pinch my hand and feel the pain, I realize that this is not a dream but a reality. I can feel how happy I am, what a happy man I am, to add a new page to my life、uh, on a memorable occasion such as this with you, ladies and gentlemen. If this was a dream, I certainly would not like to get up, wake up at all. Thank you very much. So i c h i r o Honda, a man who dreamed big so that his young colleagues who would follow could continue to pursue them. I grasp my dreams with these scarred hands. The life of Soichiro Honda has been a continuous search and struggle to achieve his dreams.